Hi guys, I am Mchekwa Ellen Tangeni and I am with MedsXYZ and welcome to lesson 82 of MedsXYZ. In this lesson we will be dealing with right angle triangle on uh, area rules, cosine rule and sine rule. For the first lesson which is lesson 82 I will only focus on the right angle triangle of which when we are doing dealing with right angle triangle we are talking about the theorem of Pythagoras, we are talking about the trigonometric ratios. So in this lesson I will, I will show you all the trig ratios that you have to know so that you will be able to do uh, or to solve all the problems concerning right angle triangle. Alright, so for example here we are given a triangle PQR of which we have our angle theta and this angle is a right, tri right angle triangle. How do, how do we know that it's a right angle triangle? It's because of this sign here which looks like a box. That's, that tells us that our angle, our triangle is a right angle triangle. And then with this, ang with this triangle here, our, our angle of theta there is actually opposite to the to the side of PQ and it's adjacent to the side of QR and it's it, it's hypotenuse it's uh, PR of which uh, the the opposite will show it with the sign of Y and the adjacent will show it with the sign of X and our hypotenuse will show it with the sign of R. Then with trigonometric ratios we're talking about the sign, the cos, and the tan. So with tan, starting with sign of which sine theta of which this is our theta our sine theta according to trigonometric ratio is equals to the opposite over the hypotenuse of which for this one it will be equals to pq divided by pr this is the opposite over the hypotenuse and that donates our sine of theta and when we are going to the cos of theta of which according to trigonometric ratios the cos is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse so that means that for this one it will be equal to qr the side of qr divide the, divide by the side of pr and our tan of theta our tan of theta according to trigonometric ratios is equal to the, uh, uh, the opposite over the adjacent of which for this one it will be equal to PQ divided by RQR. That is our tan of theta. So with this one what you have to understand is that when if I have to place my theta this time on P then it will change everything here. That means that our our theta now it's opposite. It's equals to QR and its adjacent is PQ and its hypotenuse is equals to PR. Then that means that it depends on where your theta is. Where it's looking at, then that's your opposite side. The biggest side is your hypotenuse and the smallest side, which is this one, is your adjacent. So it depends where your theta is. For example, this one. Uh, it's opposite to this one. That's why it, this is it's opposite. It's adjacent at the longest side. It's it's hypotenuse. But then if we have to take theta and put it at um, um, the the side of P for this one, then it's opposite. It will be QR. It's adjacent PQ and it's hypotenuse. It will be equals to PR of which is the same as the oppo uh, as the hypotenuse of R. Then another thing that we have to look at when we are dealing with right angle triangle is also the theorem of Pythagoras. The theorem of Pythagoras. Theorem of Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Of which the theorem of Pythagoras only applies if your triangle is a right angle triangle. But then if it's a nine right angle triangle, you can apply the theorem of Pythagoras. With the theorem of Pythagoras, I will use this X, the Y, and the R. Of which, according to theorem of Pythagoras, it says the square of your hypotenuse is equal to the, squ uh, the square of your adjacent plus the square of your opposite. That This is the theorem of Pythagoras. And if maybe I'm looking for my adjacent, which is X squared, then it will be r squared minus y squared then if i have to be looking for my opposite it will be y squared is equals to r squared minus x squared this is the theorem of pythagoras of which you can only apply it if you are if you are having a right angle triangle but then if you are having a non right angle triangle you cannot apply the theorem of pythagoras however the trigonometric ratios they still apply even if you are having a non right angle triangle all right then let's look at an example and see how we can apply uh, the theorem of pythagoras Pythagoras uh, and also the trigonometric ratio when we have to be answering questions. All right. Um, the question of which I already have with the side, guys. Uh, 
we have a triangle, a triangle PQR, of which in this triangle PQ, uh, between PQ is 10 centimeters, between QR it's 18 centimeters, and these two triangles, they're right angle triangle. How do we know that? We know it because of this and also that side. And uh, our angle of P is equal to 40 degrees, and that's the only one that we have. We don't have Q and we don't have R. Another thing that you have to remember is that the sum of uh, angles of a triangle, they must always be equals to 180. That means that if I have to be adding P, if I P Q angle of P, the angle of P plus the angle of Q plus the angle of R, they must always give me 180 degrees. This is the rule that the angles of a uh, the angles of a triangle they must always be equal to 180 degrees. All right, guys. Then let's deal with this question of which with this question. The first the first question that we have to answer is to find the length of QS of which this is the length of QS. Our Q our S is the is the it's between P and R. Then to find the the the, the side of the length of QS, we just have to look at this triangle, the first triangle only, of which in the first triangle it's PQS, of which uh, PQ is equal to 10 centimeters, and uh, our angle of Q of P it's equals to uh, 40 degree or 40 degrees but then now that we have a 90 degrees there and I already told you guys that the angles of a right tri of a triangle they must always be equals to 180 that means that if I have to only take this triangle out which is angle uh, triangle out which is PQ S and then forget about this other triangle then that means that the angle of P and the angle of S which is let's say this is S1 this is S2 and also the angle of Q they must always give me 180 now that means that P plus S S1 plus Q it's equal to and then I would say this is Q1 and this is Q2 and then Q1 is equal to 180 degrees then that means that to find Q1 because I already know what's my uh, S1 because it's a 90 degrees then that means this is 90 and then to find my Q1 it will be 180 minus P of which is 40 degrees minus S1, S1 which is 90 degrees as well then that means that my Q1 is equal to 50 degrees my Q1 is equal to 50 degrees, so that you can add with that, and that will give 90 plus 90, it will be equal to 180. But then, uh, with this one, this is 50 degrees. That's only for Q1, and then not for Q2. The same thing uh, will happen when we have to find the angle of R, which is this side. What we can do is to sum this three and then equate them to 180. And then after that, we can find uh, Q1, R1 uh, provided that we will be knowing the angle of Q2. Alright, uh, let's go straight into the question of which we are asked to find the length of. Alright, that's uh, you won't need this because we already calculated the angle. Alright, then uh, let's find the length of QS of which QS when we are using trigonometric ratio is it will actually be found by using the sine of 40 degrees of which 40 degrees is the angle of P it's equals to opposite which is equals to QS over the hypotenuse which is equals to 10 centimeters then to find the length of QS it will be QS it's equals to 10 sine of 40 degrees and then from here to find that I will just use my calculator of which this is 10 in the sine of 40 degrees that will give us uh, 6,43 centimeters and then that means that the length of uh, QS is equal to 6,43 centimeters then the second question uh, that we have to answer is to find the size of angle R of which this is angle R right there then to find that we already have this we already have this angle we don't have this angle as yet uh, full of this angle we only have Q1 but then we don't have Q2 then to find the angle of R what we need to do what we need to know is that um, our angle of P plus the angle of R plus the angle of Q is equals to 180 then with this one what we need to do first is to find this angle which is Q and Q2 and then from there we can actually solve for uh, the angle of R and to find that what we do to find this angle here what we need to do is to find is to say uh, our t our cos our cos of theta 2 
which is this one here it's actually equals to the adjacent over the hypotenuse of which the adjacent is equals to 6,43 divided by the hypotenuse which is 18 centimeters then to find the angle of Q2 it will be the 6,42 using my calculator guys it will be the function of uh, 6,43 divided by 18 which will give me uh, 69 69 degrees so this one is equals to 69 degrees then from here what do I need to do is to add Q1 and Q2 they will give uh, all together 120 all right guys this all together it will be equals to 119 which is almost 120 degrees then going back to this one it will be uh, the R it's equals to 108 degrees minus P, which is 40, and minus 120 degrees. Then this will give 180 minus 40 minus 120, which is equals to 20 degrees. That's for angle. That, that is for angle R. All right, guys, this is equals to 20 degrees. That's angle R. Then moving on, the third question is to find the area of PQS, of which this is PQ. Yes. Remember with uh, the, area, the, the area of a triangle, to find the area of a triangle, the standard rule that we already know is to use half base multiplied by height. Alright? Then with this one here, what do we do? What do we need to do is to find our base. Our base which is equal to PS and our height which is equal to 6,43. Alright? Then from here, what we need to do again is to find... Uh, our base of which to find our base will use a trigonometric ratio of um, of tan of which we will say tan of uh, 50 degrees is equals to the opposite which is ps which is what we're looking for divide by the hypotenuse which is uh, uh, sorry guys uh, divide by the adjacent which is 6,43 all right then ps here it will be equals to 6,43 the turn of 50 degrees all right and then now we'll be having a six seven comma six six centimeters that is our this is our base which is ps which is six seven sorry guys this is equals to seven comma six six centimeters and then from here when we have to substitute into this equation which is half base multiplied by height which is the uh, the rule of area of a triangle and then from here we're going to have area it's equals to our base it's equals to six seven comma six six which is half our base will be seven comma six six multiplied by our height which is six comma four three all right, then this will be equals to 0, 0,5 multiplied by 7,66 multiplied by 6,43. And then that will give us 24,63 centimeters squared. That's 24,62 centimeters squared. All right, guys, I hope you understand that as well, that uh, to find the area of PQS, we have to use the area of a triangle, which is the half base multiplied by height. All right, then let's just do a quick recap, guys, that to find the length of QS, uh, of which this is QS, what we need to do is to use the trigonometric ratio because we already have 40 degrees there and we already have 10, 10 centimeters there. Then we use the trigonometric ratio of sine of 40 degrees. It's equal to the opposite, which is QS, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 10 centimeters. Then from there, we make QS the subject of the formula and we find 6,43 centimeters as our area, as I mean, as our side of QS. Then the second question is for us to find the size of angle R, of which this is angle R. Remember the first time we or what we did, we found the, the 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 size of Q1, of which this is Q1, of which we just uh, said the area, the angles of a triangle, they are equals to 180 degrees. All right, then adding P S P S1, of which this is S1 plus Q1, that make us to have uh, Q1 as 50 degrees. And then after that, we found we use the this side, which is QS, and also the 18 centimeters, which is the side of QR, to find using the cos the cosine rule 
to the course rule to find the area the the angle of q2 which is equals to 69 degrees and then adding the two they give us 120 degrees which is 50 plus 69 sorry guys 50 sorry uh, 50 plus 62 is equals to 50 plus 69 is equals to 120 degrees and then adding the two they will give us 160 and then minus 180 it will be 20 degrees and then moving to the next question of which we have to find the the area of pqs of which this is p q and s and then we use the area of a right angle uh, is equals to uh, half base multiplied by height and then from there we use tan of 50 degrees is equals to ps divided by 6,43 so that we can find the base which is equals to ps after finding the base which is 7,66 we multiply the two and so that we can get the area of a triangle which is 24,63 centimeter square uh, okay, and then from here guys, I hope you understood everything about right angle triangle If you have any question whatsoever, please just drop us a comment note and then we'll have a follow-up on your question And we'll make sure that we explain it uh, to a point that you have no doubt about it All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please tune in uh, tomorrow also for lesson 83 Of which we'll be dealing with a uh, right non-right angle triangle. All right guys. Thanks. Bye